Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode, we're going to go over how to build your Rhino tank and a few other tips and tricks there. So stay tuned. All right, so what you'll need is the instructions from issue 27 even though the model comes in 27 and 28 um, because this one even though, like it's, it's got all the build stuff but the, it, in the uh, issue 28 you're just getting the extra stuff all this the main build which is the rhino itself it's all in 27 and that's the most important part this is all extra so you can do whatever you like with that you can glue on what you like you can cut out what you like you can go as crazy or as refined as you like there's some there's like one or two bits here that you definitely need but i would say on the whole it is pretty much optional all right so let's get to building the actual rhino itself so as always what you want to do is uh clip all the bits out I would suggest keeping the tracks together like this until you're ready to put them together. So just get the main panels out like this one. And uh, as always, use your um, blade or your old line remover to remove the excess flash or sprue like this. Just drag it across until it smooths out like that. All right, so once you've uh, clipped all the bits and you've tidied them up, it's time to get gluing. Um, so you will have to do this stage by stage, and you might have to take some breaks um, just to let certain bits dry. Uh, the tracks these bits I haven't clipped them out yet because I don't want to lose any bits but they're going to be last so let's get going so first of all you want to make sure that you got the correct halves together so you could tell because you will have one long side one short side and it pairs up nicely and then what you want to do is a little bit of glue in there put a little glue in that one, a little glue in there. Then don't put too much because it's push, it's a push fit part. And then we put a little bit around here because it touches the hatch. So it will just give it that little extra bond. And there we go. And just squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, and now that can stand. And then the hatch, I mean, you can have it open if you're a bit more adventurous, you could try and pin it so that you can open it up and whatever. The main function of this is just for a little bit of fun. If you're doing like a wreckage or something, you've got that extra detail. Um, and also if you are building a predator, um, which is the uh, offensive tank with the turret and everything you wouldn't put this there you'd put a sponson there with some weaponry so it's a very versatile kit um, anyway yeah all you're going to do is just along the edges there in that bit there and just plonk the panel in there also if you um ever go to Forge World in Warhammer World or if you um, go online you can order uh, certain panels it will come in resin um, but they'll be like uh, chapter specific or uh, for certain traitor legions and stuff like that so yeah it's a nice bit of customization that you can do there right um, from this bit on 
I'm going to speed up and then I'll just slow down whenever there's a key point. <laughs> Straighten your foot. This was scaled enough that you could fit a squad of ten in there. Maybe a squad of five regular chaps. From this point on, it's entirely up to you what you do. You can leave it how it is so that you can paint the interior so that when you put this on and uh, you take the top off, you can see inside you know, like this. So you can always just glue it shot like this and then that's that or you can leave these loose leave that loose and you can paint the inside if you want Okay, so, um, for the front spike bit, I chose this one just because I prefer the design, but you can go with whichever one you want, um, and that will be stuck on the front panel there, but before I do that, we're going to do the tracks. Now, as you can see, once you've clipped them out and uh, trimmed them up nicely, uh, what I did was I put them in order, numerical order, of course. So you got your left lot one, two, three, four, but then five, six, seven, and the same on the other side. And I've lined them up so that they are in that specific order. Okay. What you want to do is stick this down first, all right? The first panel. You want to have it overhanging this way, okay? Don't want to put it that way, All right? Because it's too close to the edge of the wheels. You want to do it this way. If we do it this way, so that way there's an overhang. Make sure you line it up right, so it's even, and then you then glue the piece that's got three parts on it. Like that. Uh, and so on and so forth. Now, the trick to knowing that you've got the uh, tracks the correct way is that it kind of represents the Aquila. So you get the wings in their head. But if you turn your eye 
you'll see that you'll see that the tracks should be facing upwards The track should be facing in that sort of fashion. Alright, so how about it? Alright, so I had a, a little bit of uh, a play around with all the spare bits and that because uh, you got so many options and it's just it's crazy how customizable it is and uh, how you can tailor it to to suit your you know what you, what you feel for and um, yeah so I had a bit of fun with these little panels and everything and um, what I decided was I was gonna have that torch on top of the light there and uh, I had a problem fitting this bad boy the uh, rocket launcher um, on one of these things and having the gun as well because you can't put even without the spikes and the, the uh, hatch you can't put two of these next to each other there's just not enough room um, so what I've decided is I, I glued that on at the back because it's still got the little groove at the back and it just slides slightly onto one of these notches um, which sort of helps to steady it a bit and I put the smoke launchers on top just to give it a bit more of a beefier look and uh, I didn't glue it so I can still swivel it up and down and you know like the tank can always just spin on the spot if it wants to shoot in a certain direction no problem but um, the driver I've kept detachable as well and uh, I opted for the uh, melter uh, bolter combo because I think that would be a bit more effective um, against uh, your enemies because storm bolt was more for lighter armoured uh, troops and since you'll be fighting primary space marines you're going to need that little extra uh, kick in your arsenal so we've got the driver here uh, the driver here and the gun here and then I didn't go too over the top it was tempting to go over the top of the racks but I decided just one with the space green helmet on it and then we got a little rack at the front the uh, ramming spikes at the front as well and then uh, with one of the spare hatches, I, uh, I trimmed off the hinges, stuck it on the back like it was a shield, and then of course the chains here and the noble death guard insignia there. So it's not over the top. I can always add more if I want to, um, but I think just for now, I'm keeping it simple. Uh, it's working well for me. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys really, um, you know, get inspired by this kit because you can do so much with it. And uh, I mean, it's even tempting. You know what? It's even tempting to just take this off and stick it on the back of this bad boy because um, it'll give him a little extra oomph. And I think it is an option to have a. Uh, Rocket pod on it. Okay. No way. So, I hope you found that helpful and useful. And uh, please let me know in the comments below 
uh, what you think about the model itself. I know it's an older kit, um, so there are some, you know, bits and pieces that are a little bit out of line, or you know, there's some extra work that needs to be do done to neaten it up. But you got to remember that's like 20 years old that cast, and it's still holding up pretty well. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. There's so much uh, customization you could do with it. And I want to see what you guys are doing as well. So hit me up in my social media links. They're up there and in the description below. Hit the subscribe button and little bell icon. So you always get a notification whenever I upload a video. And let me know in the comments below what you thought about that kit. And about the building process. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.